Hello and welcome to the Sunday Preview Rundown. Today we've got Dark Angels. Wee! And some other stuff, but mostly Dark Angels. Yeah, it's like the next book as a preview and awesome new models and also this other stuff no one wants. <laughs> right. So this was previewed on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. The Deathwing Assault Box. This is the way to get the new codex. Yeah. Until checks notes six months from now i don't know we don't know we don't know no but uh it's the also the limited edition codex this is the only codex that has that cover art on it yeah so it does say on the roadmap that um dark angels are in spring yes which would make me think that they're not coming out until like march at least yeah so so three months march or april yeah would be my guess so this box does not come with a lot of variety but it but does it, come with a lot. But it does come with a lot. Yeah. So in addition to the codex, the world scroll cards, the transfer sheets, and two upgrade sprues, the brand new upgrade sprues, which mm -hmm. we'll show you in a second. This comes with Belial, who is master of the Deathwing. Grandmaster of the Deathwing, sorry. Mm -hmm. Not just regular master. Yes, sorry. Uh, and 15 Terminators. <laughs> yeah. Ding. <laughs> yep. Hope you like Terminators, because that's what you're getting for Christmas. Ten of them are multi-part Terminators, the normal multi-part Terminators, mm -hmm. but you get the two Dark Angels upgrade frames, which, in addition to Terminator stuff, also comes with a bunch of non-Terminator stuff. That's true, which is actually great that they come in here. The other five are Deathwing Knights. Oh yeah. Who, if you look closely, they are not the same kit. They are an entirely different kit. See, every time we say they're the same kit, they aren't, and... We're, watch, it's going to be like, hey, this is a $90 box, and it's the same kit plus stuff. It's not. <laughs> oh, we looked closely. Unless they're literally putting two leg sprues in there and yeah. two body sprues, which they're not. So all of this was previewed close up earlier. Yeah. So let's swap to that real quick. First up, let's get a close look at Belial. Belial? Belial? I don't know. Belial sounds cooler. Uh, Not Belial. I'm <laughs> Belial. <laughs> so the one thing I don't like about his mini, the only thing I don't like about this mini is the Sculpted Fire. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to put that on. Does does this guy just create fire wherever he walks, even though he doesn't have, like, a flamer weapon or I anything? would expect that from Vulcan's mini whenever he comes out. That's true. That makes a lot of sense. It does. Um, as it is, I will probably not build this guy with his burny burniness here, because it never looks great. Besides yeah, that, though? Unless there's something in the lore about him, like, setting fire to stuff, I don't understand it either. But, eh. yeah, the model looks great. Flowing cape they've done a lot for. Uh, looks fantastic, the way they've sculpted it. Uh, alt alternate head options. Uh, I would definitely keep the hood on. Yeah, that's a Bell Lugosi playing Dracula. <laughs> <clears throat> I was going to say that hairline's doing you no favors there, bud. Uh, I like the hood better. I like how he has his name inscribed on his just, shoulder plate. Just in case you don't know who he is. So, great looking mini. He's the Grandmaster of the Terminators. Um, currently, his rules suck, but yeah. obviously, they're getting a new codex. So, who knows? Hopefully, his rules won't suck. Yeah. It would be very funny if they did, though. Picture of Vashtor. <laughs> Wouldn't, I, I'm not going to put Vashtor on the Sunday preview two weeks in a row. <laughs> well, if we keep coming out with models with rules we hope don't mm. suck, I think he's the poster child for it. That's true. Now, the other brand new kit, mm -hmm. and this is how you can tell it's brand new, because if you look at where the, the robes like are, this is not an upgrade sprue it's type not. thing. Also, uh, he's standing on a rock. Yes. I, I don't think there are any tactical rocks in the, <laughs> the Terminator I think kit. this is like two tactical rocks. Oh, my God. So, the upside <clears throat> is... That these are amazing do sculpts. Um, oh yeah, they look. The fantastic. helmets are completely different than Terminator helmets. Mm -hmm. Now they come belted in with the shields. They, they are so amazingly cool. They can also though, and this I was worried about because when I saw the preview of the box, mm -hmm. it only had these guys with sword and shield. Right. And I was like, what happened to my mace? What happened to my flails? Well, rest assured, at least some of those are still available. Yeah. Because you so you still have the classic um, Terminators with hooded. Yeah, those look sweet. Or, I, I like the hooded mask. See, I actually really like this helmet more. Really? See, it, it does look more like a knight. Previously, I would have agreed with you. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I want the hooded helmets. But now that I have this knight helmet on the Terminator, yeah. I actually really want these. That is cool. So, at the very least, we see that they still have the Mace of Absolution. Right. It doesn't mention the flail. It doesn't. So it just says swords, shields, and maces. Right. So, I kind of wonder if maybe we lose the, the, the flail. That'd be weird considering the old box had it. I mean, only the leader had it. But that's not, you know, that's not unusual for it's them. true. Swapping back to the main article really quick. This was when I said that was the upside. The downside is that this does say armed with mighty heirloom weapons. And currently, all heirloom weapons are garbage. <laughs> yeah, heirloom weapons is code name for we wanted to reduce the number of profiles, but not make any of them good. Which is stupid, because they only had two profiles. Right. 
Yeah. Like, well, I mean, for things like Vanguard vets, sure, they had like forty different profiles. I get that, but that's one of several reasons Vanguard vets are very bad right now, like, right? Because their weapons, it's just, a, it's not even as good as a power sword. Yep. Same reason that Space Wolf Wolfen are bad is because they used to get thunder hammers or claws, and now it's just weapons heirloom weapons that are worse than either of the other options yeah i don't understand and that. i really hope they don't do that if they do that first off if they do that with a brand new kit that would be baffling to me yeah like they had the opportunity to just put the same weapons in there and maybe they they're just it. called heirloom swords and they're fine hopefully but if they're bad ugh, hopefully not yeah now speaking of the upgrades bro mm-hmm. this is uh what it looks like this was also in the announcement article for belial mm-hmm Deathwing Terminators can still get plasma cannons. Which is awesome. It is. You'll never take them, but it's awesome. I mean, oh, I guess you could take the rocket still? Yeah. You can still take yeah, the... Fair if you, assuming you can still take the rocket options, you're just going to take that. Yeah. Because you get a melee weapon and a ranged weapon and still all the... Yeah. You're right. And the plasma cannons, I mean, they're good at killing marines, but... Sure. So is an assault <laughs> cannon. What isn't? Right. That being said, this is some great stuff. Yeah, this is, I want to say, probably the best upgrade spree we've had. These are my favorite. Those are sweet. The Now, the, here you see here, this is still a classic Terminator it in is. Deathwing style with the Deathwing thing. So they still have those. But these hooded helmets, which are clearly for intercessors mm-hmm. or equivalent, those are my favorite. Um, some of these are callbacks to uh, existing upgrade sprue stuff. Mm-hmm. Some of it's brand new. All of it's pretty good. And a little guy with a book. Yeah. I actually personally like the, the Ravenwing bike wing yeah i like that they just have that that's just, awesome just, i wonder i bet you could stick that on oh it did say outriders yeah there is a, there is a picture actually if we go uh to the right one picture boop yep ah uh, yes outrider with it on okay Is that it? looks really dumb <laughs> i like it <laughs> okay that does make me okay uh t-shirt says one fear now <laughs> they're not gonna get rid of raven wing are they no, like they're not just going to say, oh, there's no more Raven Wing bikes. Just use the Outriders because Outriders suck. It would be cool if they made Outriders battle line for Raven Wing. <sighs> okay, Outriders don't suck. They they don't suck right now by virtue of being so flippin' cheap yeah. for their wounds that you can bring them as that. But they're not good. They're not fun. No, they're not good. They're they're all chain swords and bolters and that's it. Yeah, it, it's not the same thing as a Raven Wing knight on a... It, 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 a replacement for a knight on horse with lance. That's true. Which is what Raven Wing are supposed to be. Yeah, they're really, really leaning into the Terminators, which is fine. I honestly, it's it makes sense and it's a little weird because they just came out with a new Terminator kit. Yes. And then they're like, okay, and here's another new Terminator kit just for you guys, where they could have done specialty bikes and they didn't. Right. That being said, segue. We asked. We already covered what's in the box. Now let's cover what's not in the box. Yeah, they did a bunch of weird stuff. We had to, we're having to go between the preview from today and three other articles because <laughs> in this article, which is where the article, um, oh no, this one it stands on its own. Yeah, this is the article with Asmodee, who is not in this box. Right, which makes sense because he's not a Terminator. Right, but this does mean we are going to get another Dark Angels release. Yes, we are. So probably it's, closer yeah. to the full release. If I had to guess, this would be similar to the the heroes that came out for uh, Necrons and... and oh, Admech. Admech. So that, it's just like book of release day. The difference is they didn't also get an army box. That's true. But uh, yeah, that would be my guess too. Yeah. Now, when that is, we don't know. Uh, we already talked about him. Cool looking model. Yep. And then the other thing, this is the weird part. Mm-hmm. Because we had Belial announced. Mm-hmm. And then... We got the brand new kit and brand new unit announced, yep. the Inner Circle Companions, who are also not in this box. Yeah. But, but those were on two different articles. And But the Inner Circle Companions were on the same article as Belial, who is in this box. <laughs> That's the confusing part. If these right. guys were in the one with Asmodee, that would make sense. Right. But they weren't. Yeah, it's just kind of odd. Maybe they around. weren't tainted yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're right there. <laughs> anyway, so don't expect to see these. Yeah. Just, this I would also guess would be in the the same time as yeah as today. It'll just come out at the same time. Yeah. All right. So one last question before we move on. Yes. This is the first supplement codex that is true in tenth edition. That is true. How many detachments will they get? Will they only get a single Dark Angels detachment, the Unforgiven? Mm-hmm. Will they get an Inner Circle detachment and the Unforgiven detachment and a Ravenwing detachment? Ooh, that's a good question because it doesn't say it does anything. not. It it gives no hints. Wow. Um, if I had to guess, it would probably be less than a regular book. Maybe I'm, like four. I'm hoping for three or four. Yeah. I'm hoping for an inner circle. So, you know, these guys. Deathwing, yeah. Uh, Deathwing. I'm hoping for one that's unforgiven, um, like we currently have, mm-hmm. except better, hopefully. Yeah. Dear God, please, hopefully better. <laughs> and then one for Ravenwing. Yeah. Which is kind of, you know, using things like their Nephilim jet fighters. Mm-hmm. Or I know which I know are flyers are bad, but 
but still, they're cool. That's my hope. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, All of their previous sub factions would get their own. Yeah. Which I realize is a lot of sub faction bloat for Space Marines. I mean, we already knew that was going to happen. But welcome to 40K. Are you yeah. new here? If you are, uh, thanks for joining us. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, obviously, I'm excited about this box. This is yeah. my Space Marine faction. I got into these guys because of the way they looked, and mm. I want to use the lion and all that stuff. You're less excited. Yeah, I mean, the models look sweet. Um, I do love the new Terminator sculpt. I love the upgrade kit. The Deathwing Knights look amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very excited for this box. I won't be buying it, unless I can convert it into Space Wolves. But, <laughs> um, but I, I am very excited that this is coming out. Because it also gives a kind of a, not a preview, well, kind of a preview, for what is going to be happening in the future with the rest of the Space Marine chapters. Yeah, this sets the precedent, right? Yeah. This, this gives us which a is taste. What we, of which is what we said about the original Space Marine book. Yes. Sets the precedent for all the other codexes. This is for the sub, sub codexes. And it did. Yeah, it did. So hopefully this will too. All right. With all that out of the way, let's get to the stuff that is, I guess, probably less exciting. Um, this one kind of came out of nowhere. The It's another Crusade book. Yeah, I literally do you, not care. <laughs> you and I have not interacted with Crusade in any way, shape, or form. I have played one game. You and Crusade. I have not interacted with Crusade in any way, shape, or form. Um, this is one of those things where this is targeted towards a much, much smaller audience. Yep. Uh, but if you are someone who plays that, this kind of thing is really cool for you because it's adding more to your campaign. Exactly. Because those campaigns can get stale. If you keep playing them, they get solved. You know, mm -hmm. you can't just keep replaying them over and over again. It's kind of like our Necromunda campaigns. Right. You can keep playing Dominion over and over again. But, but that's no fun. Do you want to? Not right. really. What I don't get is that the collector's edition is just gold foil text. Yeah, in a black ribbon. It's not even a different cover. That's it. <laughs> that's so... It's like, this is special edition, guys. We promise. Yeah. Uh, also, that Katari Marshall there is shooting at that guy when he's got a guy right there. <laughs> I mean, you got you to gotta take the important shot, huh? Reach over and stab that dude. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's not a Marine. He can't, he's not that cool. No. I mean, look look at the look at the sword, though. Yeah. That's what I mean. He's activated it. Yeah. Maybe. Dark Tide has taught us that power swords his... are only activated when you want to go swing with them. This is his shooting phase. <laughs> I and see. Then he will go into the charge phase. I think he's within engagement range of that guy, honestly. I don't know how he's shooting out of combat. I don't know. Both also, he's shooting. clearly being charged, so he's clearly firing Overwatch. Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> because we don't have anything else interesting to say about it? What are you talking about? We have Adeptus Titanicus Titan Legion's dice sets to talk about. I thought they canceled Adeptus Titanicus. <laughs> no, they didn't. They canceled Aeronautica. Right. I they also didn't thought cancel they... it. They just stopped supporting it. Yeah, they canceled it. Yeah, they canceled it. Um, yeah, I didn't know this was still getting stuff, but okay. And speaking of, more Titan Legions. This one kind of makes sense because you can use it in any game. Yeah, uh, some of these are cool. To represent. Yeah, they're fine. I don't like the way they do the separate transfer sheets because they're always way too expensive. Right, they're yeah. They're like $30 for a transfer sheet. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Whereas they put transfer sheets in the box of a $60 <laughs> kit. Maybe that's why they're so expensive. They took the transfer <laughs> sheet out. It'd only be 30 bucks for Space Marines. <laughs> Uh, now something that is a personal interest to me, even though it's Black Library, yeah. it's the Yarrick Omnibus. As a guard player, I've never actually read these, yeah. so I might pick this up because I've kind of always wanted to. Honestly, as a non-guard player, I might pick this up. I've heard there are some of the better ones. Yeah. Even though we do know how it ends, Yarrick, because Yarrick's head is on Angron's necklace. <laughs> Awkward. I'd like to think he 1v1'd him <laughs> and lost. But you know. Well, yeah, but he, he... I would like to think that he did the, like, the Thanos and he just, like, hits him once and he bleeds and he's like... All that for a drop of blood. Boom! It goes down. <laughs> Even a god can bleed. Yeah, exactly. And then, so, yeah. E Book of Wolf Blade. The. La Chute d'Acadia. This is. The e party. Is the. La Chute d'Acadia is the only reason that I'm keeping the Black Library in this video. <laughs> they did shoot the Cadia. They shot it so hard it blew up. They did. It went boom. Or maybe that was the Cadian escape shoot. Oh. It's like you know how an airplane has like it's the escape thing? The shoot from Katie. The entire planet has one of those, going to another planet. And then you hop <laughs> on and you slide through the inner space to the nearest planet. That would definitely work. <laughs> yes. What about the Koyo mystery pin sets? Didn't we see these already? Yeah, oh, these are these are new. These are different. Uh, whatever. There's an octopus. These are blind box pins, and you're supposed to chase the gold one. I Sure. I don't like blind box stuff. I don't. I don't like any of these even the necron one is not great <laughs> do you like how there's an arrow facing this way and an arrow facing that way and an arrow facing that way and that way and that like way? these are the rune marks of the mortal realms which is to say the lores of magic like that's yeah. life and one of these is metal and gold and stuff and then some of the cities of sigmar but nobody i guess maybe cos players now care about <clears throat> that but not really yeah <laughs> so worth noting that uh 
the uh, collector's edition of the Crusade book and the box are delayed in Japan. Sad. I'm sorry, my so, sorry to our many, many, many Japanese <coughs> listeners. Yeah, I'm sure there are more Japanese listeners than there are French and German listeners after our shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, probably. Merci. I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> so that's it. I'm obviously super pumped about Deathwing. Like, I very yeah. looking forward to this. I'm going to order one. I'm going to with you. I don't even care what faction it is. Every time a new book comes out, I'm excited. Because I like reading new rules. And it can always shake things up. Yep. Maybe this will be the thing that finally ends the armor skew meta. Maybe. Maybe it's going to be Terminator meta from here on out. Maybe with this, you'll have to build into killing Terminators, elite infantry, yeah. more than you will into killing tanks. Right. Like, so you have to deal with... ships all their weapons. You have and... to deal with uh, four up invuln, three wound Terminators. Yep. Or currently, Deathwing Knights have four wounds because of the shields. And minus one and damage. And minus one damage. Ugh. Which is obscene because yeah. a three damage weapon I mean, becomes a two damage weapon that you need two of to get through. They're... I mean, to be fair, they are 50 points more than a regular Terminator. They are! <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying they're not balanced. They're not sweeping the tournament tables. Yeah. But this is a new book, and we know what happens with new books. That's true. Picture of Admech here. <laughs> I mean, and cross it out, <laughs> Votan. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so let us know below if you're as excited as I am for Woo. our Dark Angel-y friends. Or maybe you're just really into Crusade. See you next time. Bye. Oh. It's like how an airplane has like it's the escape thing. The shoot from Katie. The entire planet has one of those, going to another planet. And then you hop <laughs> on and you slide through the inner space to the nearest planet. That would definitely work. <laughs> yes. Or maybe it's like a <laughs> suction tube. All the guards on the other end uh, have the big straw that go... <laughs> and these suck other guards in through. You have, to, you have to combine it, and one platoon can suck one. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and when chaos starts coming through, you stop sucking. <laughs> I don't know how much of that I'm going to keep.